Today, I want to speak to you about the incredible, unchanging goodness of God. In Mark 10 verse 18, Jesus himself says, Why do you call me good? No one is good, except God alone. This truth is foundational for our faith, that no matter the circumstances, God is always good. Let me share with you a powerful testimony I heard. A man stood up in his local church and declared, I have peace in my storms, strength in my weakness, and joy in my battles because I have Jesus, and he is good all the time. What a profound statement! Whether in storms or in weakness, God's goodness never wavers. It's easy to declare that God is good when life is smooth, but the true test of our faith comes when life gets tough. Can we still declare God's goodness in the middle of our trials? James 1 verses 2 to 4 encourages us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. The Bible calls us to hold tightly to Jesus, especially in times of distress. When the flames of life's battles intensify, our passion for God should burn even brighter. If the burden is heavy, we should pray more fervently. If the path is rocky, our faith in Jesus should be steadfast and unshakable. Of course, this is not easy. It requires spiritual maturity, faith, and most importantly, the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 teaches us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. To truly appreciate God's goodness, we must trust him fully, even when we don't understand our circumstances. So, my dear friend, as we approach God in prayer, I encourage you to declare from the depths of your heart that God is good all the time. If you find it difficult to make this declaration, ask the Holy Spirit to help you see God's goodness from a different perspective. Ask him to lead you into the truth that God is indeed good, no matter what you're facing. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, help us to trust in you with all our hearts and to lean not on our own understanding. We acknowledge that our understanding is limited, so we submit to you, Master. Guide us, give us direction in everything we do, and in every place we go. Your word in Isaiah 48 verses 17 to 18 says, I am the Lord your God, who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you in the way you should go. If only you had paid attention to my commands, your peace would have been like a river, your well-being like the waves of the sea. Father, we submit to your leadership and authority. No matter what comes our way, we will hold on to your word, looking to you for guidance. Psalm 25 verses 8 to 12 says, Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the demands of his covenant. Lord, keep us from falling into sin and lead us on the path of righteousness. You have called us to walk by faith, so Holy Spirit, help us to do so. You have called us to live with the fear of God in our lives, help us to stay committed. Draw our hearts closer to you, Lord. May our minds and hearts be focused on you. Proverbs 16 verse 2 reminds us that, all a person's ways seem pure to them, but motives are weighed by the Lord. Help us to guard against impure motives in our lives. Let us not be satisfied with appearing clean in our own eyes, but let us seek your cleansing power, Lord. May the Holy Spirit convict us and lead us to repentance whenever our hearts stray from your ways. Change our perspective, dear God. Help us not to demand understanding in all things, but to trust you more and more each day. When life presents us with storms, give us the faith to say, Lord, if it is your will that I face this storm, then strengthen me to endure it for your glory. 
Father, your word in Isaiah 40 verses 29 to 31 says, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. We declare today that greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. You, King Jesus, have placed within us the strength to overcome every trial, and for that, we give you thanks. Lord, we are grateful for your goodness, for your unwavering faithfulness, and for the strength you provide us each day. Thank you for being a God who is good all the time. We bless your holy name, King Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining me in prayer today. If this message has blessed you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay connected with more prayers that uplift and strengthen your spirit. Your support helps us reach more people with God's love and truth. And before you leave, take a moment to explore another video from our channel. Each one is filled with hope, encouragement, and the powerful word of God, which can bring peace to your heart and light to your path. May the goodness of God continue to shine in your life, and may his grace be with you always. As you continue to walk in faith, remember that God's goodness surrounds you, even in the darkest valleys. He is your strength when you are weak, your peace in the midst of chaos, and your joy in the middle of sorrow. Hold on to these truths as you face each new day, knowing that his love for you is everlasting, and his promises are sure. If today's prayer resonated with you, I encourage you to take a few moments to reflect on God's goodness in your life. Share your thoughts in the comments below, your testimony could be the encouragement someone else needs today. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss a new prayer or message that could be exactly what you need to hear at the right time. Lastly, I invite you to watch another video from our channel. Each one is crafted to help you grow closer to God, to find comfort in His Word, and to strengthen your faith. Whether you're seeking peace, guidance, or just a reminder of God's love, there's a message here for you. May God bless you abundantly, may He guide your steps, and may His goodness be evident in every area of your life. Thank you for being part of this community of faith. Together, let's continue to grow, pray, and believe in the God who is good all the time. Amen. As we close this time of reflection and prayer, let us carry the lessons we've learned deep within our hearts. The call to live authentically before God, free from pride and self-righteousness, is a lifelong journey. It's a path that requires daily surrender, a constant reliance on His grace, and a sincere desire to glorify Him in all that we do. Remember, our ultimate audience is God alone. When we live to please Him, we walk in the light of His truth, and His blessings flow abundantly in our lives. I invite you to continue seeking God's presence beyond this moment. Stay connected with His Word, let His Spirit guide you, and keep your heart open to the lessons He wants to teach you each day. If this prayer has touched your heart, I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support not only strengthens our community but also helps to spread the message of God's love and grace to others who need it. Before you go, I want to encourage you to explore more videos on this channel that are filled with powerful prayers, uplifting messages, and spiritual guidance. These videos are designed to help you grow in your faith, find peace in times of trouble, and draw closer to God. So, take a moment to watch another video, it could be just what you need to hear today. Thank you for joining me in prayer. May God's peace be with you, His love surround you, and His grace continue to lead you every step of the way. God bless you, and I look forward to praying with you again soon.